everybody, Anna Kruger here with the ISA MAPS Coaching Program. And today we are gonna talk about three specific things to keep your momentum going during the holidays. And yes, you can take off time during the holidays and still get the work done. That's actually one thing I love about this job, right? Is it's very results oriented. So if I can get the results in and manage my time such that I get the activities in to earn the results I need, that gives me some leeway to take the time off I want for Christmas, right? So let's talk today about three specific things you can do to keep your momentum going. So number one, it's actually pretty basic, and it's what we do for our clients, is I encourage you to remind yourself of your motivation. Let's be honest, right? This time of year, there's holiday parties and family trips and time off and all the things, right? And it can be easy to get distracted. And so what I want you guys to ask yourself is why am I here? What things am I wanting to do because of this position? Perhaps it's a career path that you see and you need your performance here to help you with whatever's next, to earn that privilege of the next thing. Well, we don't wanna let our foot off the gas for that, right? Maybe it's something financial. So perhaps it's a trip or a college fund or paying off debt buying a house, any of those things, those things don't change even though the season becomes busy, right? And so I encourage you guys, whether it be a visual, maybe making a list, write yourself a letter, give it to your leader and say, hey, send this to me when I'm discouraged. But somehow, in whatever way works for you, get in front of you why you are doing what you're doing. What does the work you're doing, in, how does it impact your life? And get that front and center that can also or often provide fresh energy to the role. The second thing I recommend is a gratitude list, a gratitude list. The reason for this is, let's just be real, I'll be transparent. Many times I would be on the phones thinking, you know, I didn't think when I grew up I'd be on the phone for my job. This isn't quite what I expected. And what I started doing was making a list of things I was thankful for and it helped change my perspective. So I actually have a grandfather who was a state park ranger, pretty cool. But part of his job is he would muck out the bathrooms, right? The outhouses that were out in the woods. Part of his job as the park ranger was to make sure that those were clean. Well, often I'd be sitting there on the phone thinking I could be doing that job right now. I could be the person cleaning out the stall, right? Or I could be the person pouring concrete or doing whatever other job um, I did not wanna do. And thinking about that made me very grateful and put in perspective what I was able to do. Here I am and I get to talk to people all day long about their goals, right? About their real estate goals. And it put fresh energy in my system to keep going. The third thing I recommend, and it's more of a tactical play, so to speak, is to be very clear on your numbers. So I hope if you're watching this video, that you know exactly how many contacts it takes on average for you to set an appointment. Right now around the country, we're seeing between 20 and 30 contacts to set one appointment. And that's a mixture of people in coaching and outside of coaching. Again, it also depends on lead sources, but 20 to 30 contacts on average should earn you one quality appointment. So when you're clear on your numbers, you might know, okay, I need to set you know 10 appointments this week and that means for me that I need 200 contacts this week, 40 a day. Well, if you're gonna be out a day, perhaps you do a heavier day on your contacts to compensate for that day you're out. So the point is you still need to get in the activity to produce the results that you need and want, yet there's nothing that says it has to be all spread out evenly on every day. So maybe you'll add 10 extra contacts a day for four days. That could make that up, right? There's 40 right there. So the idea is one, Make sure that you keep your motivation front and center. Two, make a grateful list. And then three, know your numbers so that you can strategize being out yet still getting in the activity. All right, guys, if you have any questions for me, feel free to email me. You can hit reply to this message. Also, uh, email me, join the Facebook group, ISA Mastermind group. That's a great place to hear what's coming up and also keep in touch with other ISAs, brainstorm, see what people are doing. All right, guys, I hope you have an excellent Christmas, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, everybody.